Hey guys, today we get to look at the Magic the Gathering lore from the Vault lore, which is pretty good. Um, there is two valuable cards that will make combined make up more than the entire cost of the set. So definitely like any from the Vault, uh, you, if you can get it for MSRP, which is $34.99, get it because it's a good deal. Um, here we have Cabal Ritual, which is pretty cool in foil. And it's actually seeing a lot of play in Legacy. Definitely one of the better rituals. And I love it. It's good common to make into a foil. The pricey card, one of the pricier cards is Dark Depths. Now this card is insanely pricey as a non-foil. And beyond pricey as a foil. So it's nice to see that it's getting a reprint as well as a token. The token itself is it worth 20 25 $35. Next we have Glissa, the trader. Uh, she's probably going to look pretty good in foil. One of the only few zombie elves in existence. Definitely a card that was dominant during her time. And one that I look forward to collecting a lot of. I would have liked to see different artwork, but I get it. Hellvolt. The Hellvolt is an interesting pick. I, it definitely makes sense from a lore perspective, but would it be my pick to put in the set? Probably not. Um, I don't know. I don't think it really needed a reprint, but okay, we got one. And next we have an EDH commander, Menark. Menark is very good in EDH. He's a commander who dominates uh, many a game, and it's one of those controly commanders. So Menark is reprinted again as a foil. This will reduce his price. He's already not expensive, but he's going to be even less. Which gets me to this card. This card is, man, just been reprint after reprint. And finally, it's going to be slightly cheaper. I believe this is new artwork, uh, which should make it, you know, maybe a little bit more valuable if people prefer this artwork over. Next, we get to one of the more questionable picks, Near Death Experience. Lore, definitely a plus. Card itself is kind of bad. Uh, it obviously is Gideon, and you know I love the flavor text of most of these cards. And I think they did a good job picking them because there is value and then there is lore. And overall, it's just a great set. Talking about lore, I remember this happening. And I love that they appealed to the old school. So old school was you had Baron, you had Urza, you had Misa, and they were all just, you know, blowing stuff up. Uh, they blew up the Serum Sanctum or something. Talking about lore, Phyrexian Processor. Now that was one of the best cards. I believe John Finkel played it to win. Uh, one of the GPs or one of the Pro Tours actually was based on this card. Definitely a fun one to use and an overly powerful card back in the day, like when I was in middle school, it was so OP. To Larian West, questionable in this one because it's not legendary, uh, legendary land, but definitely one that is useful with the transmute property. Um, and the value is made up, again, from the Dark Depths and then the next card. So combined, it's the reason to get these two. Jitte is one of the most dominant cards. I remember it was released in a pre-con deck or um, an intro deck or a theme deck, whatever they called it at the time. And yes, it is one of the most dominant cards. Still seeing a ton of play in Legacy, banned in Modern, of course, for being too good. Mind's Desire. It's an interesting one. I've always liked it, but it only fits one deck. I'm not positive what the lore of this one is. Overall, I'm very, very happy about the set. Definitely, if you can get it from MSRP of $34.99, buy it. Buy as many of them as you can. And lastly, we have Unmask, which was the biggest story reveal ever. When Ro Volrath, the main villain, was actually a female. A, a attractive female. So that was kind of mind-blowing to me when I was in middle school. Because... That was the big bad, big baddie. I remember like, the card was a nemesis as well. And I was like, oh, this is a really cool villain. And it turns out it was a villain nest. <laughs> anyway, uh, leave a comment below. Did you guys like this? Are you going to get it? Can you get it from MSRP? 
Uh, what is your favorite card? Are you excited for Jite? Are you excited for Dark Depths? Maybe you're excited for that token that's like $25 randomly. But overall, a very, very good set.